Then I never changed the Twitch settings. Oh, where I said Stellaris, I bet. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Intrepid Dawn. My name is Captain Guitar, and today we're going to play St Star Wars. Uh, no, what the hell are we playing? We're playing Star Citizen. And I'm joined by Suba, one of the guys from Praxis. What's going on, Suba? <laughs> yes. Yes, uh, Suba's from Germany. No making fun of his accent. I could not speak German. Chances are you couldn't either, so the fact that he's bilingual makes him way cooler than you. Let's get started. Oh. All right. Uh, we're going to jump into a, uh, the server here. So I'm going to go ahead and initiate the Crusader now. And it should give you an option to join me as well. Also trying out some new things for the stream. So you should see the chat on the screen as well as recent subscribers and donations. And I'm pretty excited about all of this, really. I'm trying to up my game a little bit. We're going both uh, Twitch and to YouTube. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, you're gonna see a black screen for a second while the game loads. Here we go. This is good. About to come in now. This is Star Citizen. This is the release candidate. This is probably going to go live later today to all of the backers. And Suba, you've been playing it. What did you think of it so far today? <laughs> awesome. All right, well, that's awesome to hear. Go ahead and just double check that I have my suit on. Sweet. All right, so what would you like to do today, sir? All right. Are you loaded in now? Is this you maybe in front of me? I have a space suit on. Yes. Yep. That's you. All right, so I'm uh, I'm here. We're together. So let's. Uh, what kind of ship do you want to take? Uh, well, I have uh, have all of them, I guess, that are available on the uh, eh, on the server. Do you want to take separate spaceships, or do you want to take a big multi crew ship? Okay. Why don't we take a, uh, let's see, do I have a freelancer up? I can probably do some cargo with that too. Okay, yeah, I have it up. So we'll go ahead and pull a freelancer. Make sure that works. Alright, and I'll fly today if that's alright with you. Just because I haven't been doing that recently on the stream and I wanted people to see how it works. Alright, so we're on D1. Yep, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, the FPS is not great right now. It's it's fine. I mean, it's it's playable. It's not it's not as smooth as it was. But I I don't know. The server could be super full. You know, I'm also transcoding uh, a lot harder than I used to on my stream, so my CPU might be taxed. I'm really not sure what's going on here. No. Oh, sorry. I'm I'm responding to the chat. I'll, I'll try to. Uh... Gotta be more. Right. It's it's all crazy. Here we go. I thought I already hit that. Feel free to hit any of the panels that I miss. Yeah, it's like they're standing there and I thought I got it. Awesome. So here we are. Misc Freelancer. I'm going to walk around it real quick so you guys can see it on the stream. Uh, here, let me let me open it up for you first. You can get in and get her ready. Alright, so this is the Misc Freelancer, and I'm going to go into third person now so you can see the, uh, the difference as a guy standing here. All 
All right, so here it is in the sun. It is, it's got that aluminum metal coating to it, which is pretty cool, makes it shine nicely. Uh, nice little ship. You would think that this is, in my eyes, this is kind of like, I don't know, the Millennium Falcon kind of thing in uh, Star Citizen. Could also be stream. Let me just double check it real quick. So here we are. We're in the uh, in the universe. I don't remember which the uh, what the key is for the flashlight. Do you remember? Key button. Hey there. There we go. It works. So we got a little flashlight. It's super laggy, huh? All right. Let me let me check. See what's going on here. A few seconds. Yeah, I could see you when you're on the ramp. There's, there's still issues. All right, let, let me see what we got here. I'm pulling up the stream just so that I can see what you guys are seeing. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that, guys. I'm. It is super light. Super. Holy crap. Alright, well, if this doesn't get better, I'm gonna drop the Twitch stream and just stay on YouTube. Thinking that might be the problem. Really? That's definitely not getting any of that. PC is pretty robust. Okay. Um, yeah, let, let me go ahead and fix that. So. Give me one second, guys. We're going to go ahead and uh, the screen's going to go black for you, but then I'll come right back and it should be. All right, so see if that works. Looks terrible. Till I started the stream. And I, I broke Star Citizen for everybody. That's what you're telling me. Okay, that looks better. Alright. All right, we'll try it one more time, and if not, then we'll know it, it went out to PTU and we'll make it. Try again in a second. Let me see. Visit location. See if that works. Release done. Granted from the server. Sweet. Okay. Andre, I, I got it. Should be much better now. Let me know if you're still having issues. Fingers crossed. Oh, it should be buffering. I just restarted the stream. You're really not missing anything. We're looking at... Here we go. Yes, 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 no, no. Okay, so uh, once it starts to tell you that it can't find that clothing, you're ready to go. Are you in? All right, I'm in too. All right, good to go. All right, feels a lot better already. I can tell. Dreams are better. I think we're okay. Let me just make sure that the stream is on, because I don't think I was actually live. And, and Star Citizen doesn't have frame issues. It's a game in alpha. Think about it like this. There is no other game, probably, that you've been able to play that's this big of a game, this kind of release, that um, is at this stage. Pretty much, if you play a beta game on EA or something, or... Uh, you know, Activision or whatever. If they release a beta, that's pretty much the game. You're not going to get anything different. Okay, I really don't like the uh, settings here. One more, one more thing. We're going to switch. So my Twitch experiment has failed. Okay, I'm going to do one of. Yeah, none of my other streams had this problem. So, see how that looks now. Okay. 
Now we're back, and uh, hopefully that looks as much better for you, because I'm sending out 10, uh, 10 megabits a second. All right. Yeah, much better. I'm watching it now. It's not as choppy. It's still pretty choppy, though. Actually, I probably shouldn't be watching it. Oh, I do this. It is pre-alpha. Here, I'm gonna put it on. 720. Okay. Perfect. Alright, thanks guys for your patience. We're just trying to get this set up. So I tried the other day to change it, and for a game like Stellaris, that's not a big deal at all. For this game, it's kind of an issue, so you might want to watch the stream in 720p for now, until I get that figured out. So I have the, uh... Where is it? The Freelancer? Alright, I've gone ahead and I've ordered the Freelancer again, Suba. Sorry about that. DO2. And... Alright. Yep. Okay, one other thing I'm gonna do, guys. I also changed my CPU setting, and I think I did it incorrectly. I think I actually have it processing less, which is why it looks like crap on the stream. So... Just waiting for you to show up here. I'm in the airlock right now. Give me two more seconds, I'm going to stop the stream one more time, and I'm going to change my CPU settings to ultra fast, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, D02. Alright, sweet. Yeah, now all of a sudden, I'm getting 30 frames per second. Hopefully I'm sending out a better image quality, too. Let's see. There we go, and we're back, guys. And and finally, I fixed it. So I was uh, I was actually uh, sending out completely the wrong settings there. So sorry about that. Yeah, the, it should be fine now, Andre. Appreciate your patience. I'm just waiting because I forgot to uh, cycle the airlock. There we go, and we're out. Beautiful. Yeah, no, it was definitely the stream because I had my settings incorrect, and now we're fine. Yep, we are good. So I was trying to transcode a ton, and it wasn't working. And yeah, don't do that. Here we are. Good to go. All right, so I, I torpedoed my own broadcast. <laughs> I have the door open, I'll be waiting for you. So I just want to show you guys, now that we can actually see it and it's not a slideshow, this is the MISC Freelancer. It is a multi-role ship. It's really uh, shipping, cargo, it could also be transportation in a way, because you have the large cargo base, so you can use it for anything. It doesn't have to be used for specific items. Yeah, sorry, Andre. I had it all set up before, and I second-guessed myself when I read an article. So the heck with Twitch, as much as I'd like to uh, do it, I need to make partner there first, so, or it would be feasible. But here it is, uh, very nice, it has seating for four crew members, there's four beds. You could actually technically have five because there's four crew stations in the cockpit area and one turret gunner. So if you had maybe a marine or somebody that was with you, they could be in your turret just for ad protection. It does have missiles, it does have huge size, uh, what size guns are these, you know? Size 3? Size 3 or size 4, but it has a bunch of weapons, so it actually is fairly, uh, powerful on its own to defend itself. The problem is it's a little slow, so lining up those shots might be difficult, but if all four of those weapons hit you at once, goodbye. So here is the turret. We'll go ahead and get in. Well, I'm getting the chat through a third-party program to put on the screen. So that's why you're probably seeing it late on my screen. 
I, I don't know if YouTube chat itself has a delay. I can't remember that. Um, here's the cockpit, and as you can see, all the lights are off right now, and that's because the ship is powered off. So I'm waiting for Suba. I'm going to go ahead and enter the pilot seat. All right, he's here. Okay, let me uh, let me go ahead. And exit. Yeah, I want you guys to see that that he is actually there. That's one of the cool things about Star Citizen, and that the multiplayer is truly multiplayer. There he is. Hey, can you see me? All right, let's go to third person and uh, spin around. Yeah, pretty cool. So I can see you too. You can see me here. Pretty cool. So he's going to come up. All right, let me open up the ladder for you. Here, I'm going to open up the ladder. And then he's going to be able to get on the ship. <laughs> okay, you have to go in the back then. No problem. Right. So, so the ship is locked now so that it can't be stolen from me. But I can unlock it when we get somewhere safe. And then anyone will be able to enter. He can enter through the back ramp, which should not be a problem. Once I get us up into space and he's in here and in a uh, co-pilot seat, he'll end up getting all the permissions. So let's go ahead and enter the seat again. Uh, 2.6.3, I, I don't know, uh, is that, uh, that might be the, the build number they use internally, to be honest, but this is, this is Alpha 3.0, they, every, uh, every time they do a new software, it has different build numbers, so let's go ahead and, uh, first we're going to close up the exterior, make sure we don't have any stowaways. Now I'm going to power it on. Do you know where the power on switch is? Here it is. Power on. All right. Check that out. So all the lights came on in the ship. And now we're going to turn on the engines. Engines are on. Uh, would have been good for me to set up my POTUS over here before I started. Seconds. Yeah. I was playing Star Wars The Old Republic this morning. So that's why I have the wrong stuff on. Oh, go ahead and take us up. I don't know if I have any of these mapped. It doesn't look like I do. So we'll just use the keyboard to launch straight up. Broken atmosphere. And then retract the landing gear. All right, so where are we going to go? Which, uh, which planet did you want to go to? Yellow? I do too. Let's go ahead and do that. Now they think they changed how you uh, how you do that, right? Yes. Okay. So it's different. If you've seen my other streams, it used to be on the Moby Glass, which I, I can you still use the Moby Glass if you wanted to? F two goes right to it. All right, sweet. So even though that's pretty cool on the actual. Uh, thing there. I don't want to use it just because I'm not going to be fast with it, so I'm going to have to play with that for a while. So we'll go ahead and set Yella as our destination. It's gone. I've gone ahead and set that. That looks good. F2 again to get rid of it, and now we will go and quantum travel. I have to clear these rings. Alright. We are set. Oh... All right, all stations report in. You ready for light speed? All right, let's do this. Or not? Oh, wait, is it B? There you go. All right, guys. So we have. Arrived on yellow. Now, is there a specific uh, point that you'd like to go to? No. All right. Let's uh, then let's go ahead and go over. I've never been here, so it'll be different. Let's go to the Deacon's Research Outpost. I'm gonna go ahead and quantum jump to this, so that we don't have as far of a distance to go. All 
Alright guys, now we're going to do what's called a local quantum travel, so it's going to be a little different. We're not going to go fast enough to make all the, uh, the world change colors on us. But you can see this is a nice way to move around in the system. Alright, so we're good there. And now I'm just going to burn hard for, uh, for that part of the planet. We're going to go up to full afterburner. And hopefully this isn't the ejection button like it was last time. <laughs> yeah, I found that out the hard way. Because I, I use the... Uh, there's a key on my HOTUS that looks like perfect for afterburner. And I've always used it as that. And as soon as I hit it uh, in one of the builds, I immediately <laughs> went to... Uh, immediately shot out of the ship and then I was dead because you can't get back in like it has no seat anymore so even if you come back to your ship you're kind of like uh crap so I'm curious how they're gonna handle that in the verse that'd be cool oh if you still say 2.6.3 Sam it's not on live yet it'll be live out later today it's on the PTU but the PTU has access to all-star citizen backers so what you need to do is go in to, uh, I think it's, what is it, ptu.robertspaceindustries.com, log in, and then you'll be able to uh, change your stuff. You should have gotten an email. Check your email, too. Yeah, so uh, according to the chat, it's time for Disney to end. <laughs> what do you think about that? Did you see the new movie? Not yet. Okay, then I'm not going to spoil it. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I... Overall, I enjoyed it. I think I can say that without spoiling anything. There were some things I didn't like, but never enough to be like, oh, you know, I'm done with Star Wars. They messed up. You know? Yeah, I hope you enjoy it as well. All right, so we are on our way. You can see we're about 268 kilometers away. We're at max cruising speed right now for our ship. I think this used to go faster, but they probably changed it. Yeah, I can't, can't go any faster than that. And you can see that there's two, uh, two 100s on there. The top one is actually our fuel level, and our fuel will recharge over time as we pull in hydrogen from the atmosphere, which is pretty neat. But if you use it too quickly and that you're not able to recharge from that, then... Uh, you could actually be stuck. And the other one is our speed, so I have the throttle setting at 100%. Now that we're in here, I can also look around. Let's, let's take a look. Turn off my light here. Okay, so now I can I can look. Uh, I guess I'm not going to turn off my light, maybe because I'm in the cockpit. Ah! Change, I changed our vector. Oh, no. I let go of the uh, thing. All right, you can see my, my pilot's breathing, breathing heavier because he's freaked out. <laughs> But I'm going to get this back up to speed. This thing accelerates a lot better than I thought it would. Alright, we're max speed again. So let me take a look around so you can see Suba over there. He is in the co-pilot seat. What's going on, Suba? Hey, and he's looking at me. Yeah, absolutely. It's fun. So he can even get out while we're doing this and look around in the ship and take care of something. It's pretty neat. And I am looking at all of our ship menus. So all of these MDF screens actually work. Heads up displays. You can use them to change whatever you want. Like I can put all the power onto the front shield, put your deflectors on double front, right? Put all the power onto the side shield. Oh no, I did it again. All right, I, I think I should leave all the systems to, uh, to Suba while I do this. Yeah, because I, I keep I keep changing things and then everything is messed up. So you you handle the shield rotations and the harmonic balancing and everything else that needs to be done, and and I'll just focus on flying the ship, I guess. Yeah. Okay, now here we can go into stealth mode, which is where I guess assume it's a low power mode. So anything beyond that line should be fairly undetectable interesting you can see our power consumption and over here we have our shield and I'm pretty sure that having the uh, light on like this in the pilot seat is actually causing me issues because it's washing out my screens but he has gone in the back to check on things to make sure everything's good 
We're about 100 kilometers above that research outpost. Once we get to about 90 kilometers or so from it, I'm going to turn the ship down and we're going to go in. I don't think that there's much, if any, of an atmosphere on this planet, so we're not going to have a real hard burn on the way down. But, uh, right. So we'll see how it goes. Awesome. Yeah, the FPS on this particular one is pretty good. Let me go ahead and, what is it? Uh, show... I'm trying to remember. Uh, show... Like, R display three no yeah I can't remember what the command is now uh, yeah I can't get it but there, there's a command to see your FPS all right guys about 50 kilometers out, so I'm going to take us down into the research outpost. You can see there, it looks like it's in the middle of that cratered area. It's going to be exciting. So I have also taken off the afterburner, but now I'm going to put it back on so that we can come in a little bit faster. You can see that the planet's gravity is kind of fighting with me, too. I'm going to try to get down here. About 20 kilometers or so away, we're gonna start to slow down so that we don't crater ourselves into the planet. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool and you can see all of this from space it's not faked it's really there all right so we're under 20 kilometers and we're going super fast i'm going to really pull back on the throttle hope that our retro thrusters are up for the task otherwise we're going to meet this moon pretty personally <laughs> all right so we're under control now we're going about 120 so meters per second all right so now we're coming in All right, so that's our research outpost right in front of us. That's going to be our destination. Do a quick flyby over it, make sure it's safe to set down, and we'll do so. I think we'll get out, have a look around. Have a good time. I'm already cold in my house, so just looking at this makes me cold. Oh, looks like there's another ship that's leaving there. See it? Right ahead on my radar. Hopefully it's friendly. Alright, so here's the mining outpost. You can see it. Coming in now. I'm in a little bit hot in case I have to jump out. Looks like there is a... Uh, is that a constellation? Saber. Out from this distance. Alright, so we found other people on the platform. I'm going to go ahead and calm to the station to see if I can get a... Landing permit. That's the vehicle loadout manager. I think they might have changed where Your everything was. Hey, Sam Bays is now a member of the Intrepid Elite. Welcome to the channel. There it is. Select a contact. We're hailing the base. This is currently a work in progress. They're supposed to be setting this up for us, so I should have got a landing pad that I can land on. And I can't tell which one that is. So I'm just going to put us down next to that ship over here. Nice and flat, and that way we're not, not in the way of anything we spawn. Yep. <laughs> Whoa is right. Going to take us over a little bit. We'll do some thrusters. There we go. Perfect. Good. Go ahead and deploy the landing gear. And I'm just going to slowly take us down. Try to level out the ship a little bit. It's really hard to do this in first person. I mean, if you want to cheat, you can go out to third person like this and try to figure out... Ooh! Or, or not not like that. Wow. Okay. Yeah, when I, when I move my mouse in third person, it goes insane. 
Alright. Almost, almost there, guys. Almost there. This is a good place to start. Run this. Suck at this game? Yeah. That other ship? Landing successful. Launch sequence oh. complete. We made it. I know how. Power off. No. Uh. Turn off. Put the power back on. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and leave. Station. And the engine should be off, so we shouldn't be bouncing. Go ahead and exit. Alright, so I'm leaving the cockpit now, maybe? No? Doesn't really want to. Let's try it again. There we go. I have to click the right thing. And so here we are. Alright, go ahead and go down the ladder. Well, the ladder is death, so I may not want to. It's not giving me an option to do anything. I'm going to go out the back. All right, but here we are, guys. We have landed on another planetoid. It's a moon, but it's by far the prettiest of the moons. And we're going to get to watch the sunset here, spawn some vehicles, and have some fun. So you can see that we made it to the research post here. There's outposts here. We could actually deliver them supplies. There could be a mission that tells us to come here to drop something off or pick something up or help them with something. 3.0 is pretty uh, pretty much the first time that we're able to do it. So let me find you. Where are you, Sue? You're behind me? There you are. Oh, you were saluting me too. Very nice. Okay, let me go into third person so you can see that we're both here. Pretty cool. Alright, he's got a bunch of awesome armor on. I would like to do the same. Let's go ahead and play uh, dress up real quick while we're waiting for the sun to set. So first, I'm going to change my undersuit. Or not, I guess I must have recopied myself because I didn't buy any armor. Okay. Well. That makes sense because I think I also have a million credits, right? Yeah. All right. So I haven't I haven't bought anything. There you go. He is saluting me. And we are watching the sunset. Now this planet's actually rotating. That's pretty cool. That sun out there. That's not a skybox. We flew through all of those objects, and if you look up and we see any asteroids or anything, I don't think this uh, planet really has. Oh, there's some up there in the belt. We can actually fly up to them. They're there. That's the neat part about this. Now there's a. I think the blue stations are the ones that you can spawn stuff at, right? Over here? No? Okay, I'm gonna go check it out. We'll see if we can maybe get one of the uh, vehicles. I've yet to fly a dragonfly. I really want to. Are you coming in? Or are you staying out? Turning off the light. He's waiting outside. This is also an armistice zone for now, but whenever Star Citizen releases, they, you won't be able to uh, Control that, so if somebody wants to shoot you, they can. Yeah, okay, so this is how they, they've made it easier. The blue ones are the ones that you can actually... Uh, I see him, he's jumping out there. The gravity is very low. Okay, so I'm... Yes. Wow. Right, I think... Absolutely, not only that, but, uh... You would probably... Instantly pass out. Like, it's one of those things people don't understand. We we have, what is it, like a... 70... 30 or something like 80-20... Nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere? Too much. Oh man, <laughs> Here, here's my dragonfly star kitten. I was hoping that we could take this one because it's cute, um, but unfortunately, I think it'll still fly. You think I'm gonna get bugged trying to get on it? Uh, no. 
power on. All right, I can you can you get on the pilot seat? I don't even know if I can get off now. Hold on, Control Alt F maybe. There, exit. It it'll probably it probably just. All right, cool. I made it. <laughs> can you get on the pilot seat? We can if we can do it. I bet we can save it. All right. So the heck with that. We'll we'll go ahead and spawn the yellow jacket. Be nice, Andre. All right. I'm going to spawn the other one and hopefully we'll have some better luck. This is pretty neat. So you can come in here and get your vehicles. Maybe we wanted to switch to something else. Maybe we landed here with the Starfarer and we said, you know what? I really want to have, you know, the Dragonfly or whatever. Okay, so the only thing that you can get here, this is interesting. They changed this. So the only thing that you can get here are the ground vehicles, which is cool. So we can get the Nox, the Star Kitten. I'm going to claim that because I think it's wrong. All right, it won't let me claim it. All right, let's try the Drake Dragonfly Yellow Jacket. Leave that one. You can tell me when you see it out there. Okay. Yellow Jacket out there. Perhaps. You know, there it is. Yep, it's uh, 148 meters on the other side. Let's go ahead and try that one. All right, so it is, uh, yeah, <laughs> I see I see you making those crazy jumps. Your destiny lies with me. Epo Tsai, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, is now a member of the Intrepid Elite. Thanks for the subscription. I appreciate you. We're going to do a lot of fun Star Citizen stuff going forward. All right, so here we are at the Drake Dragonfly Yellow Jacket, and it's also spawned upside down. Probably because of the saber that's in the way. Can we steal this guy's saber? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You want to take the other one and I'll steal this guy's saber? Oh, it won't let me in. It gives me the option, but it won't it won't let me do it. It's locked. Darn, I thought we could like blow them open. Okay, so this is a saber comment. This is one of the variants. Probably one of the best dogfighters in the game, just on the fact that it has three size three weapons, as you can see how big that is. And uh, under here he has tiny weapons, but he doesn't have to. You could have three, uh, if you had them, you could have four of the same big guns on here, and they all track pretty much the same place. Not bad, it has a nice blue hint to it, um, kind of like a camo skin. Here's the dragonfly, I can't... Here, Mount Pyatt seat. Here we go. All right, so I think I think we might have uh, go flight ready. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake interplanetary craft. Systems are online. All right, I think I saved it. Shield system online. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you want to fly with me or not. All right, so I'm here, and I I can't stop can't stop moving because I don't know where my mouse is. While we're moving. All right, guys. So this is a uh, Drake Dragonfly. It's like a space chopper. There he goes. So he's in the back. So the way that it um, it sets this up, let me show you, is that you have two guys. He can actually pull out his gun, right? Well, probably not here. Once we get out, he'll be able to pull out his gun and shoot from the back. And this allows me to drive and operate the forward cannons. And we can even go into atmosphere with these. It's pretty cool. It's not like a hover bike from Star Trek that can only, or Star Wars that can only go like a couple meters off the ground. We can actually engage and go up into the atmosphere a little bit. So that's pretty neat. All right, now that we have that, let's go ahead and uh, engage. So right now we're in hover bike mode. You can see we're right above the surface, and I'm not doing anything uh, crazy. Just kind of flying around in here. Now this could be a a pretty cool way to get around 
Or, if we have some obstacles and I don't want to deal with it anymore, I can actually rise up. Still in hover bike mode, I don't know how to switch it. Last time I did it, it just switched it for me. Okay, but anyway, so if there's a rock or something, we can do that. Let's, let's really open this up and see what it's got. And I can also fire the lasers straight ahead in case we have any kind of uh, hostile resistance. It's pretty cool. You know, level, the first, on my stream, that better be my referral code that you're putting out there. Just saying, I just flew into that rock because I was looking at that. All right, you want to you wanna drive? Make it, yeah, no, 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 I'd like you to drive because I want to show them the view from the back. Let's see if I can, uh, see if I can unlock it. Why, I guess you really can't, so power off. There we go. Now I will exit. You can take the pilot seat. Or not, what's going on here? You're not doing this exit thing? Where, when you exited, H. There we go. I got out. Okay. All you. So go ahead and you jump in there and I'll do the back seat and be good. Alright, so Suba is going to drive and I am going to mount the passenger seat, which is going to face away. You guys are going to have a fun view of uh, what it's like on this. Gun on fire. Test. Yep. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake interplanetary craft. Alright, so we're gonna do this and then Andre, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of the uh of running around here in these vehicles, because I've never been on the Dragonfly, which is actually really cool. I have like three of these. So I'm excited to see that they work as well as I'd hoped. And you can see he's a much better pilot than I am, too. So I'm going to let you fly. Yeah. All right. So why don't we do this? After after we're done here, we'll get back in the Freelancer. We'll go to Port Alisar, and we'll take a cargo delivery and go deliver it somewhere. Actually, why don't, can we put this in the ship? Yeah, maybe we can put this in the back of the ship. All right, guys. So I'm going to go into third person so I can show you. He's going to try to, and if we explode and die, fine. Okay, I'm going to get off real quick. <laughs> Raising. A second. You said H was how you got off? Oh, yeah. Sure enough. All right, so I'm off, and we're going to watch this in third person, and I'm going to direct him. He's going to bring that bad boy right up in here. All right, go ahead. And, yep, you're good. A little to your right, a little to your left. A little more. Oh. You got a crime stat. Okay. Well, I mean, it's it's still... Hit, hit the space bar. Hit the space bar. There you go. That takes it up in the air, at least. Yeah, you're gonna die. <laughs> Did you turn it off before you got out? Uh-oh. Um, I can get in the passenger seat. I don't know if I can turn it off. Can I Can I power it off? No. I can power it on. Oh, no. Now I'm out of the ship. I'm on top, I'm on top of the ship. I'm in the ship. Oh, crap. All right. Well, the ship looks great from up here. Guys, this is an alpha. We're going to have a lot of fun bugs. And, and find all kinds of fascinating ways to die. Be able to turn it off? Okay. <laughs> so much fun. Finally. Alright, hey, there it is. And it's turned off and it's no longer causing damage to the ship. All good. Let's just uh, close up this hatch for good measure. All right, so you go ahead and fly, take us back to Port Olisar, and while you're doing that, I'm going to show them that we're not locked into any position, just like you were able to get out of the co-pilot seat, I can as well. All 
Oh. Well, then maybe you should take us to Grim Hex. <laughs> yes. All right. I think that there was a panel. Maybe I'm not finding it. There should be a panel around here that allows me to close the door here, but I don't see it. Maybe it's the one out there. But we have this door shut. That's fine. So essentially what will happen is you can have this as a fully pressurized area and be without your suit on in here and just hanging out and be okay. Same with the cockpit. Alright, so I'm going to get in the co-pilot seat, make sure that we are set. Alright, he's got us with engines on. I'm going to go ahead and go third person for you guys so you can see this as we, as we take off. There's another. Yep, yep, I see him. There's a Hornet dead ahead. It's like the stealth hornet variant. So we are taking off. Our thrusters are beating gravity, as you can see them all working there independently. Do their best. Alright, don't forget to take up the landing gear. Yeah, landing gear is good. Uh, you must, oh, might also want to close the exterior, because the door is still open. Maybe I can do it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know if I get the switch. Yeah, the ramp's open. Oh, yeah, well, no, I can't. Because the other door won't open if we're moving. But we can definitely enjoy the view in third person here. Show them all. See, guys, and as we, as we go up here, you can see some of the frozen lakes that we're crossing. And, uh... It is really, really cool. And right back there is where we came from. If we were to turn around, it would still be there. We haven't had a loading screen or anything. Occasional FPS drop, but that's completely to be expected with a game of this size at this point. And he and I are both in there, so we're going to wave the camera. Not bad. All right, so we just broke atmosphere. There's the rings, and he's going to take us to Grim Hex now. <laughs> yeah, Andre, I'm totally okay with that. That is my, my speciality, they say. If you're liking the stream, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up. I really super appreciate it. And let's go ahead and go back first person as we do this. So he is going to take us to Grim Hex. And if you zoom out, Grim Hex is on, uh, was it Daymar? Is it, is it Daymar or is it Yella? Oh, it's on this moon. Alright, so there's are there any comm buoys you can go to? I don't know. Can, uh, maybe I can navigate for you. So... We want Grim Hex to be our... set as destination. Does that give you the option to see it? That'd be kind of cool if I could navigate for you. And here you can see that I can I can work on the powers for the systems, the guns, the missiles, the engines, all of that while he flies. And having a uh, having a co-pilot that actually is competent is going to be really important in the verse because managing the amount of signature that you put out there makes you vulnerable to pirates, other players, things like that. And you're never going to be able to do everything at once. What's up, Cade? Good to see you, man. Anything you want. Tuba is flying and I'm in the co-pilot seat. And you can see all these cool little things that we have here. Let me reach over here. So these actually work. Like, I can grab this. Move it around. Like, in this case, I'm going to put 100% of our power to the weapons. I'm sorry, to the engines. So that we go faster. Let me know if your top speed is increased. You can see that we're redding out there, too. Because the way that we were slowing down, going against the uh, direction that we were going previously, put all the blood into my head. So that was pretty crazy. This game tries to model G-forces accurately. 
And while he's flying, I can even... Excellent. I'm going to jump out of the seat while you do that, and I'm going to show them that that dragonfly hopefully is still back there. You can open this door as well. Close ladder. There we go. Alright, so I've closed this up so that we're not going to hopefully die. Alright, so I've closed that door, and there should be a way to close this or where the trigger is for that. Excellent. So I've closed up the ship, so now we're pretty airtight. And the nice part is I can double check my Moby glass. And uh, yeah, we have, you know, oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere. So if I wanted to, I could even go and remove my helmet, which I'm going to do. Go ahead and do that. Just show you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it's always possibly buggy. So there we are. Wait, I'm choking? How am I dying? That's not fair. Yeah. Uh-oh, I, I really do think I am going to die. I keep clicking on this and it doesn't want to put it on. Alright, I was, I was choking. I died. I have no head. Uh-oh. <laughs> I just... There's my suit. It was too late. It just, it was too late. I've died. <laughs> I'll meet you. Okay, so I, I woke up on, uh, let's see. It would be cool if I woke up in the bed there, but I'm back on Port Olisar. I have my suit back on. Hopefully I still have my head, but. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I can meet you. I can get the Gladius. We can do the Squadron 42 style. I don't know if I'm going to have a head or not. There we go. I do have a head. Alright. Alright, cool. Because I died as a headless corpse, which is a fun bug as well. Alright, let's go ahead and try this now. Uh, I'm going to get a Gladius. I'm going to meet you at Grim Hex. Okay? And then we'll use that ship for cargo. So I'm going to grab the uh, the standard Gladius, because this really, I mean, after seeing Squadron 42, after seeing how sexy I've always thought the Gladius was, he got a balance pass to get some better weapons on it, and now it's probably my favorite ship in the game, as far as fighters go. I mean, the, the Saber's awesome, but it's also huge. Excuse me, guys. Coming through. All right, so we're going out there. My Gladius awaits, and we're going to do some of that pilot stuff. Here we go. Here it is, the Aegis. Aegis, however you want to say it. I'm going to say Aegis. I'm sure it's wrong. Gladius. Look at that. Looking nice. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and enter the pilot seat here. Just like in Squadron 42, if you watch that trailer. Did you watch the uh, Squadron 42 thing, Suba? What did you think of it? Alright. Thought so too. I wa Did you watch it on YouTube yet? Okay, you watched it on YouTube, because I thought it was much lighter on YouTube than it was on Twitch. I thought Twitch I wasn't able to see as much. Okay, excellent. I am fortunately moving, even though I don't want to. Oh, there we go. I launched. <laughs> Alright. Ending gear retracted. Let's go, uh, let's go shoot some bad guys. I like to have my gimbals locked because I use a joystick. So, uh... Alright, I'm gonna meet you at... Ila.
animation and be there in a second. Oh yeah. Well, take your time. All right, I see you. All right. Oh, ejecting. Crap. That's just what I told you. That the button that I thought was my afterburners just ejected me. So, uh, here, guys, we're we're in third person. Uh, thankfully, since I don't think the suicide mode works in this current build, I'm not that far away from. Uh, See, does it? Can can I? Can, there we go. It does work. I did shoot myself right in the face. Most unfortunate. All right, try this again. There's a lot. Of, I have a lot of ships, so at least you get to see a lot of ships while I try to get back there. I uh, will pull up the saber this time. There's the second funny death of the day for you, Andre. Yeah. So apparently, don't hit that button. No matter what you do, under no circumstances, hit that button, because you will be ejected and pretty much be dead. Alright, there's the ladies' room. I can't go in there. Can't go into the men's room either, which is kind of annoying, because I'd like to you know, see how accurately they modeled the porcelain and all that. Alright, so let's see. I'm gonna take the uh, I'm gonna take the Saber Comet. It's the same ship we saw on the uh, pad previously. And this time I won't. I'll try not to hit the eject. See it? Yeah. I've taped myself to the seat. Alright, here we go. Um, Alright, so we're back out there. We're having a good time. I hope you guys are having a good holiday. I know a lot of people are off. We don't have uh, nearly as many people as we normally do watching just because of that. But if you're interested in the channel, we do sci-fi gaming. Uh, Stellaris, Star Wars, Star Trek, definitely Star Citizen. I absolutely love this game. Here we are. We're up here, and here is my Saber Comet. Not bad. Go ahead and... Uh, let's see it. Big fan of the blue. I'm gonna go straight to pull. Get ready. Alright, landing gear is up. Builds up. Sounds good. Co pilot's uh, giving me all that. Or my, they call that a bitching Betty. <laughs> giving me all the information I need. We're gonna go to yellow. That is destination. Awesome. Go ahead and go. As soon as we get the green light, we're gonna make the jump. All right, I'll be there shortly. You guys can see my ship flying through quantum travel. Nice blue sparks everywhere. All right, now that we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and throttle back the engine. Quantum travel. I'm gonna take up the landing gear. Well, now we're gonna figure out where Grim Hex is. So based on my position, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move off the planet here so I can see it a little better. There we go. So I have a nice uh, background to it. I want to go to Grim Hex. That is destination. It is slightly blocked for me where I am now. Um, what I can do. There was another place I could actually want them to. I'm going to stay off that button. And we're just going to go like this until I clear the planet. It's kind of like the Death Star has cleared the planet in Episode 4, right? I can just barely see it, but I can't fire at it. You can see this ship is faster than the Freelancer. It could only do 999. I can do 1228. And the acceleration is pretty good as well. 
so as soon as Grim Hex shows up here for me, I will be attacking it. I am not running 4k today. Um, I'd like to. I'm close to buying a 4k monitor, but I have to I have to actually see that there'll be a tangible return on that. Because most, you know, most uh, graphics cards don't do that great with it. Even the even the 1080 Ti's are just barely playable. Thank you, Andre. You know more about me than I care to admit. All right, so I'm just still trying to clear the planet. The reason it's not letting me go quantum to it quite yet is because it's still too close to the surface. And that could disrupt me. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. I've been doing this the wrong way. I should just, like, go for a hard burn over here. Get away from the planet. look left to see if it's still obstructed, which it is. Wait till that turns green. Get over there. I should be able to travel there now. I don't know why it's not letting me. It's a thousand kilometers away, you know? You're closing in? Good. I'm gonna continue to, to burn on a horse which I think might allow me to get there. Okay. Yeah, be safe, because there'll be people. Okay, it's green. Let's do this. All right, so we've cleared the plant. The Death Star has cleared the planet. Here we go. All right, and uh, pull back. I'm here now. Do you see that we have quite a few contacts here? I don't remember how to tab through contacts, and I'm totally terrified to touch any of the key settings for fear of like hitting the self-destruct and or eject again. But I see you're not the only ship just hanging out up there. Quite a few of you. Okay, so you're gonna need to calm the station and get a landing pad. It's... Oh, it's your ship. Pretty good. I lost all rights to it when I died. Off my helmet and died. All right, so did you land yet? Okay, I see a lot of freelancers other ones over there. also have weapons free so I could destroy them if I chose to and being the dick that I am I'm holding down the button and nothing's happening. I don't know, did they armistice this? Maybe? Alright, so here we are. This is Grim Hex. This is the outside of Grim Hex. There are places to land and uh, he's gonna get a landing pad shortly. Did they give you one? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put my ship over here. I'm just going to leave it right here. So I'll EVA back to it. We'll go ahead and power it down. Go ahead and turn off the engines. Switch. Engine off. Alright, so the engines are now off, just to verify. Engines are off, we are dead in space. 
Let's go ahead and turn the power off as well so that nobody can see it. There we go. And now we're going to exit. Exit the zero G. Now I gotta be careful not to bump the ship because it has mass and I have mass and since we're in a gravity less environment that could be a problem. There we go. So it's gonna sit there for me. Engines are not on and I can come back and that way I can fly escort for Suba as he lands that ship. You can also hold down N and do the automated landing. Nobody would think worse of you for that. Okay, go ahead. So here he is right in front of me. I am uh, EVAing out there so you guys can see. Currently watching him bring it in. Then we're going to go get a cargo mission. Yep. Sees me. I see him. This is the PTU, Sebastian. It will be out live to all backers today unless that plan has changed. You ever, all backers have access to the PTU, which you would have to download. Not sure it's worth it if they are going to release this to the live servers today, as was the plan. All right, so he's coming into pad two here. You can see it. He's on approach. Very nicely done. All right, looks good, sir. Let's see how that landing gear handles this landing. Here we go. All right. All right. Oh, a little bit of a bounce and back down. Very nicely done. Not a scratch. Awesome. Oh, crap. And I just, uh, that's the other thing, too. Whenever you're getting close, the gravity plating will grab you. And you're no longer weightless, and then you fall straight down. So thankfully, it didn't hurt me or crack my helmet. We are here. We're at Grim Hacks. My saber comments over there hiding. Yeah. I'm gonna open up the door for you just in case it doesn't let you out. Oh. Yeah, and we still have the dragonfly too. Actually, uh, well, the amount of cargo that we can carry. Oh, wow, this is all messed up. You see this? Is it you like slamming into the, the cargo floor? Did, did you notice how it's all like beat up in here now? That's awesome. Th that is freaking awesome. Now now it looks like the Falcon. <laughs> Alright. Nice. Let's go ahead and go out. So we're gonna take this tunnel up. We go into Grim Hacks and we're going to uh see what's up. Not bad. Now, in the game, you can change your run speed and, or your walk speed with the mouse wheel. You roll it forward to walk faster and up to a run, and you pull it back to walk slower. And your heart rate and your vitals over there actually matter. Go ahead. You can open stuff for us. Kind of showing them this. So I'm going a little faster, and I'm wearing a light suit, so I'm going to have a lot more endurance than he will with armor on. And I'll be able to run faster and longer. He's going to get tired to the point that he would actually pass out if he didn't... He didn't be careful. Now here we go. We've got some NPCs in here, and this is uh, the subsumption, which is the NPC uh, logic, is not 100% working yet. So you can see them do some odd things sometimes, but it is kind of nice to walk in here and see other players. Pretty cool. Go ahead and take one of the elevators down. Yeah. So we're gonna go buy me a weapon. After you, sir. Awesome. I'm in. So we're going down to the main level of Grim Hex, and you can see it's a real elevator. You look up. This is a shaft. We're on a physicalized object that's moving down. It's not a load screen like Mass Effect. Uh, we're, we're legitimately here. There it is. Very smooth. I, I'm shocked how smooth this is compared to the other builds. Yep, all right. I will follow you. I'll adjust my walking speed so that I stay behind you. 
go. So this is Green Imperial Hex, and they call it Grim Hex. Former shipping port. It's now uh, home to some of the more seedy elements of the galaxy. Right. Alright, so here we are. These are the different options that we have. I do kind of like this. The stone skin is pretty cool. Heck, I'm just going to buy it. Firm purchase. Purchase complete. Do I have the option to try it? No. Okay, so they have different skins. What is this? It's another stone skin variant. This is all cool. Wish I could buy the whole thing. The dust up core, is that what you're wearing? Some of the outlaw armor. You don't see this stuff over there. Now, I really like the laser weaponry itself. So I want one of these. Can, can I buy it or not? There we go. Maybe. Like I said, it's still an alpha. There's still issues. The upper right, uh, right weapon you can't buy? Makes sense, because that's the one I actually want. Alright. Uh, so, we're still... Like I said, we're still a little bugged with the Moby Glass. I'm trying to, to buy this pistol. Yeah, I'll take that. And between these two, I think this one's way cooler looking. From purchase. Exit. Nice. How about over here? Oh, what is this, a railgun? Oh, yeah. I just purchased a railgun. I don't get to say that very often. What is this, a shotgun? Yeah. Alright, well, I really want that weapon when it comes out, so until then, I'm gonna buy this one. Ballistic rifle. Fine. At the door. Sorry, my wife's yelling at me because we have to go to a family function. Oh, right <laughs> Alright, so I've gone ahead and I've bought that. Good. I need some armor. This is a lot of fun. Maybe I should get the heavy armor. It's scary looking. I wish there was an op Is there an option to buy the entire thing? Okay. Alright, so I'll get this. That. Alright, I already have the pair of pants, right? I don't know. We'll get two of them, then. It's alpha UEC currency, I don't really care that much. Now we'll get the arms. Maybe, get the arms, there we go. If it works right. I had a really good setup I liked last time. We'll get the helmet just because I need a helmet, but I don't really want to use it. And I think there's a suit for this. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'll keep I'll keep the helmet I have. All right, good. I'm pleased with that. So I've bought what I wanted. And uh, where did you end up going? All right, I'm gonna go out here and examine a little bit. This is this is gorgeous. It really looks good right now. Now there's living quarters up here, so if you're an outlaw, this is where you respawn. 
Or at least that used to be the case. I don't know if it still is. I know that there's a uh, there's a guy that sells clothes around here. Can't remember where it is. Now this is another thing that's pretty cool. So this game over, man. Moon Assault Nexus. I don't know if this is legit. There was something else I had seen in an Easter egg back here. Check this out. I'm in that weird shop. Somebody turned this on once and it worked, and I don't know what they did. I don't know if they had to have another item to make it work or something. But they turned this on and then they got a huge hollow projected face here that was just looking at them like, what? And here we are. You can see this whole facility is built into the side of an asteroid. That's why it looks a little weird. And I'm going through. Here we are. I found. I ended up in a bar. Just me. Sit down and have a drink. Absolutely. I'm, I'm sitting at the uh, bar, so anytime you get a chance to come over, feel free. And have some smoltz lager. And while we're waiting for that, I know, yeah, I can do it while I'm sitting. Let me go ahead and put on all my uh, new awesome stuff. But first, we're going to put on that new undersuit that I got. And... Put on the Defiance Core. Oh, you found me? Nice. I think Brittany's yelling at me. I am unfortunately gonna have to wrap up the stream in the next 10 minutes. Yeah, so I, I guess I can't put on that suit. Maybe because I'm sitting here. <laughs> Maybe less than 10 minutes. I got a serious amount of wife aggro right now. Sorry about that, man. There we go. All right, so let's let's see how silly I look now. Out of way. That's not so bad. Kind of cool. You guys can see it. What is the, uh, is it Altsy? What was the look around command in, uh... There it is. Oh, it just... Okay. Yeah, you can see my Moby glasses. Yeah, all right. Well, I had a good time. I appreciated Suba, so uh, this was fun. I hope you guys liked the stream. If you like it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, and I will catch you next time. So for Suba, my name is Captain Guitarn. This is Intrepid Dawn, and we will see you in the verse. I gotta go before my wife kills me. See you guys later. All right, thank you. <laughs>